Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. Uh, in the premium video, I'm going to talk about the current pattern that's in the market and what to expect over the next couple of weeks. You just don't want to get sucked into the wrong side of that. And then um, otherwise, what I want to look at here is a tale of two markets. So we have stocks like Google, which have been hammered, and now you've got moving averages rolling over and any rallies here are being sold. And then you have other stocks like Netflix and Amazon that are holding up very well. Okay, so on the long side here, you've just got to be careful. I wouldn't be focusing on buying the dip on stocks that are pushing through their 21 period moving average like Google. Those are stocks that are in danger of going further and further. In fact, just focusing on the short side of those. Netflix, on the other hand, not so bad. Um, we do have, uh, we have seen this, these uh, funds, XIV, et cetera, et cetera. These are the short volatility funds completely blow up here. Um, so I am expecting kind of that unwinding to continue to impact the markets here, no, no, most notably in the VIX. So you, see, you can see they had to hedge in the VIX here as it spiked up. I want to see at this point if the VIX can kind of return back to the mean. It is sitting here at 27, um, and for a long, long, long time here, it was sitting at about 10. And so it's going to take a little while for this to normalize, and guess what? That is going to impact the markets as well. Um, two trades here that I like. One is Buff. This is a Blue Buffalo Pet Products, IBD 50 company. You can see here it held that 50 period moving average nicely, had a good bounce today, and we got a squeeze. So this is a stock here where I am looking for new highs and a move up to about $36, $37. So we got the March options on that one. And then in terms of the market itself, if we look here at the NASDAQ futures, um, you can see they're pretty volatile once again overnight. So we did trade as low as, in fact, 15 minutes ago, we were down 50 points, and you can see now it's starting to kind of try to recover here. Uh, let me see how the S&Ps are doing. Yep, S&Ps were down like 13 points. So we are seeing a little bit of a recovery. A uh, big thing to note here is that, you know, we did have the big crunch. We did get the rally back up to the 50 and 618 retracements. And so now looking for, um, uh, at some point here over the next couple of weeks, a downside test of that move, okay? Other than that, um, just focusing on some day trading, and you know, we did some day trading today in Google, uh, which was fantastic, and then watching uh, some key things like bonds and the dollar, and then don't forget the yen, okay? So the yen here right now, if for some reason the yen explodes higher, uh, the stock market will tank, okay? You can see here that the stock market decline did coincide with that, and then of course also keep an eye on the VIX, all right? The next couple of weeks, I'm looking for them to be violent, but I am not looking for new lows or new highs in the stock market. There's going to be a lot of head fakes, and you just want to be prepared for that and not get sucked in. All right, have a good night, and we'll see you at the next update.